Hello everyone. So let's discuss the fourth problem of today's bi-weekly contest. Minimum white tiles after covering with carpets. The problem is we are given an array of 1 and 0 where 1 denotes that the corresponding cell is of white color and 0 denotes that the corresponding cell is of black color. And we have given a few carpets each of which is of length, carpet length and we need to cover white cells, as many white cells as, with, as we can with this carpets. So for example here, uh, this grey and white are the cells which are of white color initially. So g like as, as given like one denotes the white color, so first one is white color, third and fourth is white color and if then these two these two are again white color so now we have two carpets each of which is of length 2 so here what they have done is covered these two cells so when we cover these two cells these two white cells will become black this white cell will become black this is already black so it will remain black after this we can see only two white cells are visible so answer is 2 so this is the question basically we need to find we need to lay out this carpet in such a way that after laying out all these carpets the number of cells which are uncovered and of white color is minimum so how to solve this so let's say we have this uh, this is the initial configuration where B is the black cell and rest are the white cell now let's say our carpet length is equals to 3 so now this is the first white cell what you can do with this cell either you can start laying out a carpet from here or you can ignore this and move forward with this cell right so what I am saying is what are the possibilities that you can do when you are present at this cell either you can start a carpet from here or you cannot uh, or you will not start a carpet from here and if it is a black cell you you may not uh, want to start a carpet you will just move forward uh, to the next cell so if we let's say we so there are two cases first is uh, start the carpet uh, second is to uh, move forward right now let's say we cover the both cases first let's start a carpet from here now if we start a carpet from here our carpet is of length 3 so this will be entirely covered with black now what we can say we can say that this entire thing is now black so let's not worry about this entire thing and let's start the same question from here so we have reduced our array to a smaller size array and now we are left with uh, uh, initially let's say we have x number of carpets so now we are left with uh, x minus 1 number of carpets so basically we have reduced our problem set wherein we have reduced the array size and we have also reduced the carpet number of carpets that we have so this is again a recursive solution basically we will ask again the same question whether to start a carpet from here or to move forward now what happen if we haven't started a carpet from here and if we have moved forward so if we haven't started a carpet from here and if we have moved forward we, it will contribute one to our answer to our final answer because we have decided not to cover this cell with the carpet so what we can uh, like what we have done is basically reduced our array size we haven't reduced our number of carpets which is x it is uh, now also it is x but we have reduced our array size so basically again we have reduced the sub, uh, we have reduced the original problem into 
a sub problem so that's from like and now i think you can get the intuition of uh, uh, recursion here so let's write down the uh, recursion properly so initially let's say uh, this is the recursive function where it takes c is the uh, number of uh, number of carpets that we have and uh, uh, p is our position in our array so first case is we will uh, lay out the carpet so in that case what we have said like we have laid out the carpet so number of carpets is now number of carpets minus 1 and position will be position plus length of the carpet okay and the second case is we have just moved forward we haven't started a carpet from here we have just moved forward so in that case uh, depending on the current cell whether it is black or white we will either add 1 or 0 and then we we have to solve the same problem with same number of carpets because we haven't used any but with one less uh, position of the array so you can see this uh, this recursion has two states uh, and every time we are either reducing uh, we are either increasing position or reducing carpet we are increasing position or maybe reducing carpet so this is a clear sense of recursion with memorization so if we just uh, uh, stop us from calculating this uh, state again and again what we will end up is number of states like total number of states of this pair so hope the idea is clear so let's try to code it so this is my code which i wrote during the contest so this is this is the function we have taken a position number of carpets left and the the floor and the carpet length now this is the base case wherein either we have reached the end of the carpet or we have crossed the carpet uh, and in that case there is no white cells left otherwise let's forget about this uh, this for now otherwise as discussed there are two cases one is don't start the carpet from here so this is the first case wherein we are saying that if it is white cell uh, add one to our answer or else add zero and then just move forward one move forward one position and if we have carpets with us if carpet is greater than zero then as discussed we will follow this case wherein we will reduce the number of we will use the carpet basically reduce the carpet number by one and we will move forward by carpet length because uh, we know all the cells will be covered by black by laying out this car carpet at a current position so we have moved forward with the carpet length and we have reduced the number of carpet and we have taken the minimum among the two cases now uh, to avoid recomputing the same set of states again and again we have just uh, stored the result in dp initially everything is initialized to minus 1 so everything will be minus 1 as soon as we reach here we will uh, have non minus 1 answer and so if answer is not minus 1 it means we have already calculated our answer in previous iterations and we have stored the answer so return the answer from here so hope the solution is clear so just to reiterate what we have done is we have just thought about all the possible scenarios here there are only two possible scenarios one is whether we, sh we can start the carpet at the current position or we will not start the carpet so if we start the carpet uh, if we start the carpet we know this much this much array will be covered by all black so we don't need to worry about any of the cells here we will directly move to this cell and now we are left with 
one one less carpet. So this is the next state that we need to solve. And if we decided not to lay out the carpet at current position, in that case, we will just move forward uh, in the next position. And depending on whether this cell is black or white, we will add one or zero to our answer because we have decided not to lay out the carpet. So this cell, if it is white, it will remain white till the end. And we will be left with uh, total CN number of carpets. Basically, we haven't used any. And we will increment our position by one. So hope it was clear. If you have any doubts, please comment below. Thank you.